I believe from the Baltimore area, and she was a regional winner in the You Can Be a Star regional competition in the, uh, on the Eastern Shore. And uh, she's going to do a tune called Teach Me How to Yodel. Would you please welcome Bev Pollock? Bev? <laughs> to the show. Have a seat there. That wears me out to hear that. I mean, that, that's, that's terrific. Does that take a lot of uh, wind and energy? It sure does. Let me let you rest for a second. I want to clear okay. up a I point. I did something very dumb a few minutes ago. <laughs> of course, I've done dumb things before. I held up the goodies box upside down. <laughs> but, so I, want, I just want to show you how it was supposed to look. It's supposed to look like that. And uh, goodies, please forgive me. Okay. Now, now, Bev, that you have your breath, uh, tell, me, tell me about the competition you entered in Baltimore. How many people did you have to, to, to defeat to well, win was, that competition? Uh, there was 12 uh, contestants that they picked out of, from people sending the tapes in. You, uh, you auditioned by tape, right? Uh, right. And then how were you selected as the winner? Went to different malls and just competed. I think it was about four different malls I went to. To malls? Yes. Uh, Is that they where they would it. have the competition? Yes, that's where the radio station uh, had it. Uh, you were, or which were, this, this competition then was conducted by a radio station. Right. Which one? WCAO in Baltimore, Maryland. I see. So you, you are representing them unofficially. Right. Bev, did your mother teach you how to uh, yodel? Well, she used to do that when she was a young girl. Did, but did she teach you? Well, not exactly, no. Uh, it's just uh, voice control. Well, I, I assume it's something you don't just, you're not born yodeling, are you? I don't think so. Huh? <laughs> Margo one. <huh? laughs> no, I'm, I'm just curious, do people that yodel take yodeling lessons? Uh, no, they don't. It's just, uh, 
Probably from singing since I've been about four and a half years old. You yodel in the shower? No. Gosh, if I could yodel, I'd certainly yodel in the shower. <laughs> Are you a little embarrassed to be on this program tonight? No, not a bit. Uh, no, you seem like you're a little shy. I know you. we had a nice talk backstage. We were talking about a Nashville uh, institution back in the 50s and 60s, Anita Kerr. She was your idol, wasn't she? She sure was. And uh, Anita Kerr led the very famous group, the Anita Kerr Singers, and they were... In those days, you had two basic backup groups in Nashville, either the Jordan Airs or the Anita Kerr Singers. And, I, and I'm surprised that you got on to her voice because it was one of four voices on the records. How did you become a fan of hers? Well, I, she was in quite a bit of records, and I could just pick her voice out. So she, she was very easy to pick out. She, hang, she, she sang the highest part. And so did, so did you... Uh, Patterned some of your singing after her? Sure did. Well, she was she, she was a great lady. She's still living, of course, but she left Nashville. She used to she used to arrange uh, and arrange uh, sessions, and she also uh, sang back up on many of the hits in this city in the 50s and 60s. 